Hi, I'm Simon and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox 360 controller to your Mac. This method also works with Xbox One controllers, so let's begin. So guys, this method works with both Xbox One controllers and Xbox 360 controllers. They can be wired or wireless, but if you're going to do this with the wireless method, you're going to need a wireless adapter. I'll put a link in the descriptions if you want to buy one. In this video we're going to use Xbox 360 controller and the wireless adapter. So the first thing we're going to want to do guys is to download the drivers. For Mac OS systems 10.9 or later we're going to want to download this newest version by Frantic Rain. It's on github.com slash 360 controller slash 360 controller again slash releases I'll put a link in the description and I'll label this one the latest but if you have an older OS system you want to go to tattyboggle.net and scroll down a little bit to the download section here and the driver disk image you can download it from here and I will label this one the older version once going through the installation, it will ask you if you want to restart your computer. You're going to want to say yes, because then it will update the information and it will bring us to our next step. So once you've downloaded the driver and restarted your laptop or computer, we can go and find system preferences. I go Apple, system preferences. And at the bottom, you'll notice a new icon. You'll say Xbox 360 controllers. You can click on that. It bring up the new interface. You'll say no devices found. And that brings us up to the point where we want to connect our wired controllers or wireless adapter in my case. Plug that in. And my adapter is a solid green. So that means it's connected. If it's not connected properly, or you've got the wrong driver, it'll flash. So, time to turn on our Xbox controller. Turn it on. Mine's already been paired, but if you don't know how to pair it, I'll show you right now. You just hold down this little small button next to the L. And it start flashing. Keep it holding. And it'll... Once it's paired, it will stop. There we go. Paired again. So next we're going to want to try it out. So if you move the analog stick, it should move on the screen, left trigger, Right trigger, ooh, the vibration. Y, X, B, A, analog D pad, start button. So let's test this out with a game next. Let's close that. Let's open my Steam. Steam connecting. Games. Oh wait, let's close this advert. Games. Play Stanley Parable. Okay, it's now it's loading. So I'm controlling it with the controller analog stick. Begin game. I apologize for my dirty laptop screen, I'll clean it later. Clipped. See, I just press A and skipped it. So I can move around with the analog sticks. I can interact with the environment with A. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he 
Associates se prende sto memo. And there you go. So hopefully you found this video helpful and you're playing games right now. So comment below with any questions you might have and I'll try and answer them for you. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome tutorial videos and me playing more fun games. Peace.